Hello Taurus, this is your mid-December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with everyone, but I'm hoping to reach as many of you as possible. But this is for Taurus, mid-December 2018 reading. Taurus, mid-December 2018 general reading for Taurus. Sun, moon, and rise, and it doesn't matter. Let me see what the energies are. Hopefully we get a positive reading. If not, we'll work it out. See what we come up with. But beginning energies. See what they are. Seven of Swords in reverse. This is finding out something that was hidden from you. Something comes to light with the Seven of Swords. Something that you might have thought was deceptive. Or maybe it was deceptive. In the past, you were dealing with the Prince of Disc. The Prince of Disc can be an Earth element or someone acting like this. It could be Capricorn, you, Taurus, another Taurus, or Virgo. They're in reverse. They're not feeling 100%. They're feeling unstable, a little insecure. But Prince of Disc, in the past, why are you there for Taurus? Knight of Pentacles, just tell me the same thing. Someone's really feeling out of sorts. Earth element. Like I said, it could be you or another like Taurus. Or another earth sign. Or something, like I said, someone just acting that way. Can I get another card for the Prince of Dis and the King of Pentacles? Both in reverse. Could have to do with contracts, relationships, the status quo, ceremonies, celebrations that are um, traditional. Because the Hierophant is in the upright. Maybe you're feeling a little insecure about family uh, celebrations or like a contract of some sort. Can I get another card? I'm going to put another one there. Because what I'm getting is just two people and the Hierophant. Can I get another card for the Hierophant? The Prince of Dis and the Knight of Pentacles, that they're both in reverse. Why is that there? You feel like you don't have any good options with the Seven of Cups. You're feeling like you're out of options. You feel like you don't have any choice in anything. Like I said, it could be to do with families, marriage, celebrations, contracts. Let's find out what your obstacle is. The obstacle. Prince of Swords in the upright. You're having some kind of difficulty with the Prince of Swords. This could be our air energy or someone just acting like one. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Why are you there, Prince of Swords, for Taurus? Feel like maybe you're not able to work with this person? Or that you're trying to work with this person, maybe it's just difficult with the Eight of Pentacles and the Upright. They're both in the upright, both in the upright, but for some reason they're they're an obstacle for you. Can I get another card? For the Prince of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Why are you there? See this is someone working away. Yeah, you're just not getting something you're wishing for with it. That's a wish card in reverse. feels like you're not getting your happiness with it, with this work situation you have with this, with this air sign or air element. Can I get another card? Queen of Swords in reverse. This again is the air element. This is the obstacle. Maybe you're wanting to work with this person and you feel like they're not workable for some reason because this is the why. The Queen of Swords, again, could be our air element. Someone acting like that. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could be you have trouble cutting the situation out. Something not, is not as you wish. And you feel like you're working for nothing. I feel that for some of you. Current environment, feeling want to feel unchained. You want to become unchained from a situation. You want to break free. The devil in reverse. Why are you there? I'm 
You know, you're just not wanting to resurrect the situation. You're wanting something that possibly ended to stay ended. Or maybe you feel overly chained. Sometimes that has that's attached with these two cards. You may feel that you can't end something, but you at the same time want to be un unchained. You want to be unstuck. Can I get another card for the devil, the death in reverse? For Taurus, mid-December. King of Cups. This could be a water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone acting watery. Maybe you want to be unchained from this person. Maybe you're having trouble. The current environment is a current environment, so I see you kind of breaking free from something. Something that ended, something that felt like, in a way, like death for you. But let me get another card. The devil, the death in reverse, and the king of cups upright. Why are you there for Taurus? King of Swords. You're dealing with water and air and, of course, earth, which is probably you not feeling so 100%. Feeling like you're la lacking options. Current environment, you're attempting to break free from a situation that probably needs to be broke free from. And it's involving two different people, possibly. Or maybe this is their sun, moon, and rising. But it's, it is a cups energy and a swords energy. With the King of Swords in reverse, it can be very hard to deal with. Their words are very harsh. And they speak sometimes without thinking. But when they get in a bad mood like this, it can be, like I said, hard to deal with. And it could also have to do with that, you know, King of Cups. Maybe you're dealing, like I said, with two different people and you're trying to break free. And it could be as someone tries to resurrect a situation with you and you may not want this. And it could be vice versa. Someone may not want this with you. Outside environment. Again, Seven of Cups. Not very many good options out there for you that you're feeling. You feel like you may not accept these offers that are coming towards you with the Seven of Cups. They're in reverse. And you kind of want that in reverse because it's like not taking just anything. Not just accepting anything. It also could be that Someone's just not accepting just anything from you. They may want more than what you're offering. But the Seven of Cups, why are you there for Taurus, mid-December? Seeing this mostly relationship. Yeah. Outside environment, and maybe someone is wanting to offer more, not hold back. But maybe... They're narrowing down the options of what they offer. Can I get another card for the Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles? Both in reverse as the outside environment. I see... Yeah, you know, someone is wanting more of a balance. They're no longer wanting to hold back and wanting, their, wanting for what they are wanting. But at the same time, they're not just going to accept anything. It's the outside environment. And balance is there. It could be what is coming towards you is options that are no longer not good. You know, they're not the worst options. And it could be that someone no longer holds back for some of you. That will bring some balance into your life. But we did see the Seven of Cups in reverse over here, the starting energy. So you already know this is coming. This outside energy and the, and the past are both right then and there. They're both creating this whole situation still. And it could have, I'd say, I'm thinking it's more of a personal thing. But at the same time, you're wanting to be unchained or someone's wanting to be unstuck from a situation that they don't want to be with a situation that needs to go away. They feel like it's a negative thing. Final outcome. Fool card in reverse. You are not going to jump into just anything. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm getting. You're not going to, you're going to be breaking free. You're not going to want to be trapped. And you're just not going to accept anything with a fool card in reverse. 
The Fool card in reverse is not a negative card. I like the Fool card in either way. But this is someone thinking about real carefully before they take their next step. The Fool card in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? In reverse. Why are you there? Yeah, someone may offer you a, a passionate beginning, but you're a little leery. It's the Ace of Wands in the upright. You may be thinking, you know, I just got, I'm just i trying to become untrapped from a situation that was really like a near-death situation for you emotionally. could be physically. Yeah. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you may not be accepting the offer that is being offered to you. It's there if you want it. I mean, I'm not saying that, you're, that you shouldn't take it. I'm saying that you're not thinking on just accepting anything right now because you both you got the seven of cups twice in reverse right now with the cups because you feel like options aren't very good the outside environment what's coming towards you the options weren't always good and maybe um you didn't always hold back but you're also wanting some balance i'm seeing a little confusion here I'm seeing a little confusion of what happened in the past and you're, you're thinking you need a break and you need to break free. And it could have to do with relationships. could have to do with family. Like I said, we have the Hierophant there. One more card. The Fool card. The, Ace of, the Fool card in reverse. The Ace of Wands upright. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? That's the ending energy. Here it is again. The why. Because you 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 uh, jumped out, maybe out and things took off with things in the in the past. You didn't think about them, you just said, Oh, I'm gonna go for this, and they end up getting a little burned. You end up feeling like, oops, I didn't mean that for that to happen. So now the main energy is the full in reverse. This is someone not wanting to just jump out in anything. Why? Even though there are passionate offers are coming, you may not accept them because you always jumped in, you know, feet forward, you know, not even thinking in the past. Now, I don't know. You can do what you want, but there's nothing wrong with holding back and waiting a little bit to see how things work out with people, to see what they do. Maybe the options aren't good. Maybe they are good. But there's nothing wrong with waiting just a little while longer. But one more card for the Fool card, the Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Fool card in the upright. Happiness, because you're wanting happiness. You're not jumping anything. You're not going to be stuck again. You're not going to be trapped again. Because of the situations, we're all amok. You want balance. And it may be coming towards you because you're not just going to accept anything. The Fool card does show that. At the end, you're just not going to accept anything that's offered. See that? Something's being offered. And then someone may say, eh, not right now. Did this, done that. I want my happiness. In the end, you do get justice for your life. You feel like you're going to earn your justice, get your justice, and have things rightfully bought to you from the universe that's going to make things right again in your life. The Justice card in the upright is getting your dues, getting the things that are rightfully yours, things that are positive. So that is your reading, Taurus. I'll probably be giving another one. As long as my health holds up, I always say that. Before January, for January... But I don't see, I just see you're being very careful. Because possibly in the past, you just, just kind of jumped in things before. You're not going to do that so much uh, eagerly now. Because you want your happiness. You want your sunshine. And you want to keep justice in the upright. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.